Hi, this is Mariano from Mfabric and today I will show you how to build this dashboard from scratch. First we will start by creating a new dashboard, let's call it a world dashboard. We will use the widgets app. Now we have our brand new dashboard here, we will go to design, we will drag and drop a new source, right click on it, go to settings. We have several event source types and more if you have add more apps, but we will use for now the sample event source. We click OK and we have uh, some default settings, we will leave them as that. One important one is this one, generate country data, that will provide us useful information. Now every second we have a new event <coughs> that we can see here, and we can see that we have on the value field a random name, continent, con country code, name, and value. So the first thing we can do is to have a new widget, we drag, drop, right click and, and click the settings icon and select a bar chart. We leave the settings as they are and now we need to transform the inputs to something that the output understands so we will drag and drop a new transformer, right click on source, click on connect drag the connection, click on transformer, and now the transformer is, is receiving the inputs. We right click on transformer, click on settings, and now we have a, a place where we can define um, logic for the transformer. We can see on widget template, on bar chart, what the bar chart expects, uh, a value and a label at least, so we will create those two we will use na the name field, which is the name of the section. We will make a pie chart that displays the accumulation of all the values per section. And we won't increment by one, but by the random field that we saw before. Click OK, and now we should see the outputs. If we see below, we can see we have two new fields, label and value, that correspond to random and name on the value field. Now we right click oops right click on the transformer, click on connection, drag the connection and connect it to the widget and now the widget is receiving those inputs. So now we see we have our bar chart displaying a sales by global sales by section let's call it. So if I go to the top left of the widget, I can see here that the cursor changes. If I double click, I can see the title. Let's say sales by category. I place it over here. It's not important by now. So now I want, let's say, uh, sales by continent. So I drag a new transformer, a new widget. I do the same as before, connect them. Oops connect the source to the transformer, go to settings on transformer and for the pie chart the things are similar to bar chart but just to make sure I'm using the right ones I use the templates. In this case what we will use is the continent field continent and we will use as value for example that represents sales we will use the random field we click OK and we see that the fields are already coming in I don't remember if I selected pie chart no I didn't um, pie chart click OK leave everything as is go back and now I can see I have a pie chart displaying sales by continent let's write that here sales by continent and what else we uh, yeah we had a new sticker displaying a uh, current sales by country so we will drag a new um, a new widget let's select um, new sticker here it is we will click use markdown we will see what it means later. Connect the transformer, connect it to the widget. Let's name the widgets so we know which one is which. News ticker. 
I just right click on the on the title bar chart chart let's rename the source to sales oops and now right click on the transformer settings we see on the new sticker section that we need a val at least uh, with the text that we want to display so now we will use uh, the generic blocks we will create a text with using text format bold uh, country name I erase this and then I will add some more extra fields um, for now it's ok I will add some text here like this and we will use the random field for the value so when I come back I have my widget over here what we still need is the flags and the colors so we go back to the designer transformer right click settings we have here a template called set color by threshold we will use it now but we will change that it uses the random field it seems okay so now we have uh, colorization by by the value of random let's name it to latest sales Oops. and now the only thing left is the flag so let's go back here in text format we have image from we will add a new piece here and already I already have uh, the images on the server you can use them too of course so what I will do is country code I will on even fabric image flags con the country code and then PNG that PNG we have the images so now we have the flags we will add a space between the name of the flag and now we have our latest sales the last remaining one if I remember correctly is uh, region map so let's create one we will leave the options as they are let's change the land to something else something like this and it seems to be ok now what we will do is connect a new transformer and let's see what the region map says it needs a label and a value so let's do that like before we will use country code here and here random which is just a random generated value that the sample data source generates and now we have uh, by default the green that is not really nice and um, when a country receives a value it increments and paints it from white to black according according to the to the amount like it's like a pie chart on a map and but now we will use something new it's uh, experimental but you can use it already it's called layouts if I click here I can see I can pick some pre made layouts so what I will do now is choose this one for example but let's say I don't want the, the 
departure there but the map so I will pick the map and switch uh, with this I think it's okay so I will click use layout and now I can click set view and hide the menu and I have my dashboard already finished that's all for now uh, expect some updated screencast in the future bye